guys and welcome back to my channel. So you would have just seen me eating my breakfast. So I had avocado and eggs with beans and toast and of course I had a lovely cup of tea as well. So for today's video I'm going to do a full day of eating because it's a long time coming to be honest. I haven't done one of these in a while and I'm on much higher calories now and changing up my meals a lot more frequently. So I'm going to bring you through what I eat today and basically what I get up to. So I actually had two rest days over the weekend. I took Saturday and Sunday off and I just completely relaxed because because by the end of last week I was really exhausted after the move and I trained every single day regardless of how busy I was and to be honest I don't think I should have because I was so exhausted but I had two rest days in a row and today I am training push so I'm feeling really refreshed and I think the rest days actually did me really well. So we did actually go out over the weekend we had like I wouldn't even call it a housewarming party because it was just people coming over for like a drink or two before town and we were like out of here and all by 11 because it is really really quiet here. I honestly don't think we could have like a proper full on party here because the people living around us are like really quiet which I'm forever grateful for and I would hate to be like the loud neighbour that everyone like hates so yeah we, we were out of here by like 11 but it was a late night but um I took it completely easy on Sunday as I said and I'm feeling really really good now and I can't wait to get to the gym and back into the swing of things so I wasn't really tracking my calories the last two weeks I said that as well previously um, life just kind of caught up with me and tracking calories wasn't my priority but I'm back on it now today so I'm going to be weighing my foods and getting my calorie and protein intake in that's my main priority right now because I'm not cutting or anything I'm actually I wouldn't even call it a heavy bulk I am a good bit above maintenance and like it is a little bit of a struggle to get all my calories in but I wouldn't say I'm like stuffing my face with food either so my main priority is to reach my protein intake and my overall calorie intake and I am weighing out my fats and carbs but to be honest I'm like playing around with them at the moment instead of like having a set number for my fats and carbs because before I was actually a lot more like carb orientated I was like all my cravings came from carbs and I wasn't too pushed about fats whereas the tables have kind of turned and now I'm like all about the fats so instead of getting too bogged down on them as I said I'm going to make sure I hit my overall calorie intake my protein intake and I'm just playing around with my fats and carbs because they're not that important when you're bulking to be like tracking every calorie which comes from fats and carbs and then once I do find a figure that kind of suits me I'll probably stick to that until my calories bump up again so I forgot to show these as part of my breakfast as well but I have these every morning these are glucosamine sulfate and they're really good for like joint care and to be honest I'm like a 90 year old woman at this stage with my joints like especially my knees and my hips because I had problems with them before with basketball and stuff so I would take these every morning and I'm also taking some vitamin D in the mornings and some cod liver oil tablets it's actually hilarious because I give these to my dogs as well Missy and Oscar and I'm honestly convinced that their coat looks way shinier after they take their cod liver oil so when I'm home I always give them their cod liver oil and they love it but yeah other than that we are settling in well to the new place now to be honest it's like it's starting to feel a bit more like home because we've added our own little touches and we're not done by any means to be honest but like we've just put a cap on what we're spending on the place this month because like moving in is just way more expensive than what you think like I was like oh yeah we'll give her two months up front and then there's honestly another like thousand things you need to buy once you get here so for this month we're done with buying but it does feel a lot homelier now as he cleans I clean. <laughs> yeah so we have Gary here the absolute domestic goddess doing the dishes gotta do what you gotta do this, gotta you know? do it so we've actually set out our own jobs I'm just gonna put this down here so we can get us both in okay. tall person problems so we've set out our jobs for the house. So Gary does the dishes and I do the washing, like the, the clothes washing. But to be honest, I'm only figuring that out now. I put on my first wash and Gary, how did that smell? Oh my God, it smelled like I went to the gym and trained the same clothes for like a week straight. <laughs> yeah, it was so bad. I don't know what I did wrong, but like... I'm learn though. Yeah, I learned. Like the, I'm just going to blame the washing machine for now, but Jesus, when that first wash came out, it smelled way worse than what it was when I went in. So, um... It's a learning curve. Now our clothes smell lovely. And then I also do like the mopping and the worktops and then like take out like, the bedrooms and stuff. Oh yeah, Gary does the bed. He makes the bed. So like we're kinda of trying to share things out. I'm still doing way more than him, but like look at him go oh, doing our dishes. That. Like, we eat a lot of food, you know? Yeah. So there are a lot of dishes to be done all the time, so. Also, Gary does the bins. I almost forgot that one, Gary. <laughs> yeah. He does yeah, the bins. Does I literally can't touch bins and I can't touch like someone else's food like on plates and stuff it literally makes me nearly get sick so yeah that's that's Gary's job for now so we just went down to Tesco as well and there's this little like health shop down there and we picked up 
this bad boy. We picked up some apple cider vinegar and Gary has been looking into this recently because his digestion hasn't been the best and it's probably because he's on like six and a half thousand calories and I don't think like that's normal, like not even one bit normal. So his digestion hasn't been the best. So he's taking the apple cider vinegar. I personally don't think I could do it. Like I've seen people do it and I heard like there's really good benefits and all the great things about it, but I just don't know if I could try it. Like it just smells so bad oh, really and it well, looks really disgusting. Well. I, took a, I took it out for a while before, like, um, and it definitely helped. As Carla says, there's loads of health benefits to it. Like, so why, like, why not? Like suddenly just, I'm gonna set off with two teaspoons down the hatch, probably first thing in the morning maybe, and improves insulin sensitivity as well and stuff, so. Yeah, for after training. Do you think post-workout, so it'll be a good time to take yeah, it? Yeah, that'd be a good time as well, because uh, obviously you're going to utilize the majority of your carbs post-workout because your glycogen is going to be depleted anyway, so. Yeah. Apple cider vinegar could be another something you could try with. So it is literally like half two here now and we have to have all the lights on inside because it is so dull. And I'm so over the Irish weather right now, to be honest. I'm just so done with it. I like the fact that it's cuddle weather and it's movie weather and all that, but the darkness just really just, I just hate it. Like. But anyway, we're going to try to get to the gym before the big school rush, like the 4 p.m. school rush. So I'm going to go and make my pre-workout meal now because I'm hungry again. And I don't know when I'm not hungry. To be honest, I'm always hungry recently, so I'm gonna put that on now and get going. Okay, so for today's pre-workout meal, I am going to be having spaghetti bolognese. So I literally have this tomato sauce, 5% fat mince and pasta. So I actually really love this pre-workout meal. It's really high in sodium, which obviously helps with muscle contraction when I'm training and stuff. And myself and Gary always just feel like we have really good workouts after this meal. So I just feel like it's a special little dish for our pre-workout. Okay, and here we have my very basic pre-workout meal, um, just some spaghetti bolognese. Okay, well that is my pre-workout meal down the hatch and I just changed into this seamless, my protein top for training because I think I'm a bit too warm for the hoodie today. So as I said, I'm training push today and I'm gonna record the session and bring you through it with me. You. Okay guys, that is my workout done and I am about to have the boldest post-workout meal ever. So it's today's post-workout because I have loads of carbs and plenty of calories to play with. So I'm having a protein shake, the usual impact way isolate in chocolate brownie flavor from my protein. I'm also gonna have this lovely big chocolate chip muffin from Tesco. 
and of course my squares bar. So as I said, I'm having a very sugary and chocolatey post-workout meal simply because I can, and that's one of the main points in my nutrition ebook, teaching you that you can actually eat whatever you want and get really good results. I'm gonna dig into my chocolate muffin and squares bar and enjoy it. Another thing I wanted to talk to you about was my tan. So obviously it's dark now and you can't really see my tan, but I'm quite dark still. So I started using So Sue's Dripping Gold Beauty Tan a couple of months back and um, she sent me out a couple of samples just to try out and um, her Hot Fire palette, the eyeshadow palette and things like that. So I just said I'd try them out and I absolutely love them. So this is the cover of the tan which is really really cute and it has, this is the, um, the dark mousse and I also have the ultra dark mousse here. So I'm wearing dark at the moment. To be honest I can't even imagine what the ultra dark comes out like because I like my tan really dark and even with just one layer of the dark mousse I'm like mahog so that's the one I've been using and I absolutely love it as I said I've tried it for a few months before I said I'd speak about it online just to properly test it out and make sure I genuinely like the products and I can definitely say it, I do. That's just one thing I wanted to fill you in on guys because you do ask me quite a lot about my tan and that's the one I've been using for the last few months and I absolutely swear by it. Also just while I'm here I'm going to show you the little gift that Gemma got me too for the housewarming. Cute is this so it's like a little date night fund and we've thrown in some coins during the week and you put your coins in here we're going to wait till it fills up to the top and then however much we make we're going to go on a lovely little date night and spend it from this okay guys so it is currently half eight and i'm about to make my last meal so today instead of having like five kind of smaller meals i've decided to have four large meals and i do that sometimes normally only when i'm busy and to be honest i wasn't that busy today i didn't really do much at all but um, I just ended up having larger meals and that's fine too once like the calories and macros are the same at the end of the day. So for my last meal I'm going to be having steak and croquettes so I'm going to show you these croquettes. So these are the croquettes I get, they're from Tesco and I'm sure these are honestly like 60 or 70 cent for a packet, they are like so cheap. They're definitely less than your anyway and the macros are good. Like for someone that's not in a major deficit you could definitely fit these in. Um, to your diet and they're just really nice with some gravy and a bit of steak and it's like my favorite meal right now so I'm gonna have that as my last meal so I'd normally add like garlic or onion or different things like gravy to this meal but we actually have nothing in the apartment at the moment like we bought the basics but all we have is like salt and pepper so that's just gonna have to do for tonight because I just really don't want to go to the shop again but it'll still taste good. Okay so this is my dinner guys as I said I'm having some croquettes steak and I've just put on some lettuce as well to keep on top of my greens even though I did take a multi vid earlier I'm still gonna try to be as conscious as I can for getting in my micros as well. Okay well anyway we are absolutely gonna have a net Netflix night tonight because we've been saying it for the last few nights and we just didn't get around to it. We either fell asleep or else stayed up really late. So I'm going to pick something out. I want to watch a love movie. And I think I've converted Gary to love movies now. Yes, after I started working. So I know I said I was just going to have four large meals instead of five kind of smaller ones. But I know I didn't hit my calorie goal yesterday or the day before. So I think I might just have something else as well tonight. I have this Skyer yogurt. You're probably blue in the face from seeing these. And I have this My Protein Carb Crusher Bear in caramel nut flavor here as well. So I think I might just snack on those while we're watching a movie um, because I know I didn't reach my calories over the weekend. So if I go slightly over today, then I don't really mind. Okay, well, anyway, I actually have a spray tan booked for tomorrow morning. So I'm trying out the Dripping Gold spray tan. So they came out with that new formula recently and I meant to be like completely clear skin for tomorrow like no tan exfoliated the whole lot and I completely forgot about it and I have a fresh layer of tan on me right now so I literally need to get into the bath and sterilize myself literally scrub myself to death so that it won't come out badly tomorrow so I'm hoping like if I scrub tonight I scrubbed last night so if I scrub tonight and then tomorrow morning before I go hopefully the tan will still come out nice but it's obviously not ideal to be going in there with like a full body of tan. Yeah, that's my plan now anyway. I'm going to go have a shower and scrub myself. Then I'm going to watch a movie and snack on my yogurt and protein bear and then call it a night because I really want to get into the habit of sleeping earlier again. Like my sleeping routine has been fairly bad now this week since we got here because for some reason I keep waking before eight regardless of what time I fall asleep. So even if I fall asleep at like half one, I'll still wake before eight. So I need to regulate out my sleeping pattern again. And yeah, just look after myself, I guess. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.